Welcome to another episode of the Cat Breeding for Beginners podcast. I'm Pamela and I breed British Shorthairs in Perth, Western Australia. I have a real passion for cat breeding and exhibiting and I want to share my knowledge and experience with you. I'm on a mission to help new cat breeders go from feeling intimidated, confused and having trouble getting started to confidently breeding happy and healthy cats whilst enjoying this amazing hobby. Before we get started, make sure you visit my website and download your copy of my helpful guide, Advice to New Breeders, where experienced breeders share some great tips they wish someone told them when they started breeding. You can find the link on my homepage at www.catbreedingforbeginners.com. Just look for the picture of Angelica with her kittens. If you're a new breeder and you've had your first litter of kittens, you've probably already asked this question and you may have already asked me this question because I seem to get asked a lot. It's, um, what do I do if my kittens won't eat solid food? Now, um, it's something that comes up all the time. It's a question I get asked over and over and over and over. So I'm going to answer it once and for all. Now, I'm going to answer it and tell you what I do when it's time for my kittens to be weaned, when it's time for them to start eating solid food. And the method that I use is what I call, and, and it's not even got an exciting name, it's got a really boring name, but the name is the water, kibble, then wet food method. That's what I'm calling it. If, if there's some sort of extra glamorous thing that we can call that, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, but basically, water, kibble, then wet food. That's my method. And what I do is when the kittens come out, on, um, they've come out of the box, they've started toddling around. So they're starting to get up on their legs and they're walking on their own and they're not dragging themselves around. They're actually toddling. And they're starting to do things where they start to play with each other and engage with each other. That's about the time that I give them some water. Now, they can't get access to their mum's water because their mum's water is in a deep bowl and that's not safe. So what I do is I give them a little china dish, a little china cat dish, and I put that in there. It's nice and heavy, but it's nice and um, low. And that's got some water in it. And they'll normally just step in it and walk over it, sniff it, lick the edge of it, do everything else except drink it. But eventually they will start drinking. And when they start drinking, that's a really good sign. Around that time is when I put the litter tray in as well. If I'm not letting them just use their mum's litter tray, and I do put a separate litter tray in sometimes for the kittens, sometimes they surprise me and they'll jump in mum's tray before I even know what's going on. But if they don't, I might give them a little litter tray with breeder's choice in it because I use the wood pellet litter for their parent, for their mum. But if they um, are ready around that time for a litter tray, I'll put the litter tray in as well. But once they start drinking water, that's a sign that we're getting started in, as far as weaning goes. Then I wait a little while. I wait until I've seen them all drink water and I've seen them drink quite a bit of water and I know that they're drinking water. And then we move on to the kibble. Now, this is the opposite way to what a lot of people do because a lot of people go in straight in with all the sloppy food. I go in with the kibble. I go in with the mother and baby cat from Royal Cannon, which is a teeny tiny little kibble. And it is really amazing stuff. It's really um, a lot of work's gone into working out what the best thing is for kittens at that age. And you can wean your kittens on baby cat. So I put in a little dish, the same type of dish that I had with the water in, but I don't put it near the water. I'll tell you why. Because they're messy little things and they will flick the kibble into the water and then the water will be all gross. And also they'll flick the kibble out of the bowl and they'll flick the water out of the bowl and then they'll meet on the floor of the kitten pen and then it turns into grossness. So we put the water bowl, um, the little water dish there and then a little bit further away from that we have a little dish and we fill that up with Royal Cannon baby cat kibble. Now they will, they will step in it. They will step in it. They will flick it about. That's why I don't use a huge bowl. And the other reason I don't use a huge bowl is because they will actually use it as a toilet because that's what kittens do. So a small bowl with baby cat in it and we want to watch and see if they have a little snack. Now they're going to come up. They're going to sniff it. They're going to walk through it. They're going to jump over it. They're going to lick the bowl and do everything else except eat the kibble and then they're going to eat the kibble. I promise you they'll eventually get there. They'll eat the kibble. So once you see them eating the kibble then that's another really good sign. Now we want the water first so that they're nice and hydrated because we don't want them going straight onto a dry food without being hydrated. But the kibble is a really good way to get them tasting solid food. It's a little snack. It's not they're going to be eating that down in a whole meal, but it just shows you that they're ready to eat solid food because they're having a little snack on the kibble. 
that's when we move in with the soft food. That's the next step. The next step is to move them onto the soft food. So the wet food comes in at this point. And the wet food that I use is, again, mother and baby cat from Royal Cannon. Um, in Australia, it comes in a little foil tray. In other countries, it comes in, um, it might come in a pouch or a can, but it's the mother and baby cat. And um, it's kind of a mousse and you squish it all up. You can add a little bit of water to it to make it more squishy. Um, you can add some kibble to it to make them eat a bit more. But initially, some people even put in um, formula, like baby, baby cat formula, um, kitten formula, um, and mix it in there as well. I just give it to them straight. I give it to them straight and they like it. And what I also do... As I give it to them on a large flat, I'm not a large, but a, you know, an average size, about the size of a side plate type of dish. And it's a very low dish. It's just a dish I got from my little, I actually use the children's um, plates that you get at Ikea. They work really well. They're in a circle and I move the kib, the food, the wet food, I actually push it to the edges of the plate. So it's empty in the middle and it's got like a circle of food because they'll come up to it and they'll eat from the edges and you don't really want them to have to be stepping into the bowl to actually get to the middle section. So that's another tip for you. So they'll come and they'll probably again, they'll scratch around it, they'll walk in it, they'll jump in it, they'll lick the bowl and avoid the food, but eventually they will eat the food. And that's the that's a really great sign. When they're all eating the food, you know that they're, they're ready, they're ready to start that being their main diet, they're going to be having less and less food off mum. Mum's probably looking a bit rubbish at this point because this is the time when the kittens are putting the most demand on her. They're having the most of her, um, taking the most milk from her. Um, her milk is probably not as good as it was before in terms of how much nutrition is, is in it. So they're taking even more. Um, she might be getting a little bit dehydrated. She might be getting a little bit poopy as well because she's cleaning the kittens' butts. And as they transition to food, she's got to deal with that. So mum's probably looking a bit rubbish, but this is the point where the kittens will now start eating the wet food um, and you want them to go on and eat as much as that as they can so that then mum can have a little bit of a break and get some condition back. So my method for um, trying to wean your kittens is to go for the water, see if they drink the water, offer them the kibble. Once they're eating the kibble, give them the wet food. So it's the, the water kibble then wet food method. Now, if we can come up with something better to call it, I would really, yes, please tell me if you've got a better idea about what to call that tell me in the comments um i hope that's helpful for you i know that um, weaning your kittens is a really stressful thing for a lot of breeders and especially when you're a new breeder and it's something that you haven't been through before and there's so much information out there and people will tell you really weird things you know like i feed them this mixed with that and then give it to them six times and if they don't like it i do this and if they won't eat it i shovel it into them with this thing and, and all of these different things about feeding your kittens when they first start eating but it's a bit like kids you can't really get a child and shove food into them it's not what we do with children so I'm not really sure why we do it with kittens just let them get there on their own um, and they will they will they'll get there on their own they will start eating it is kind of difficult if you have had a situation where mum isn't feeding the kittens anymore and you do need to move them onto solid food as soon as possible but again they'll get there when they're ready okay well I hope that was hopeful <laughs> I hope that was helpful for you. Not sure what I was saying just now. Um, and yeah, I hope that was helpful for you as a new breeder to find out what to do when it comes to weaning your kittens. Okay. Thanks for listening. Make sure you visit www.catbreedingforbeginners.com where you can find articles, guides, courses and more. Plus, make sure you check out my amazing New Cat Breeders Club. It's a supportive space where new cat breeders can learn, share and help each other. I only take new members a few times a year, so sign up to make sure you don't miss out.